Bang. Boom. It says live, but it is not live. Okay, I won't worry about that then. Um, so we're uh, trying to think of the three umbrellas that we can talk about skills, all right? Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot that we could talk about in that. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, not, not that we have to like get too deep, but I think it's a broad enough topic. Fear, maybe? Sure, yeah, why not? Fear, I think that's cool. Do you think fear is a skill? No, no, no. Handling, like, handling, like, handling kind of fear. Is, oh, handling hell yeah. Yeah. Dude, also interesting to like, for us to be dipping our toes in like the rhythm of like webcam conversation. Sure, yeah. Right, because all I feel like I'm very much like a interjector type. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. And like that can just make things really rocky with like the timing if you're speaking over each other. Not yeah, that we yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying in, in also the like way a is different. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, skills fear. Maybe we have like a little bit more of like a lighthearted topic, perhaps. Mm hmm Well, I maybe I mean I think like the art the art, but like the skill of conversation, you know, that's sort of what we were just talking about. That can be its own skill category. Meta, bro. Oh, okay. So we got our umbrellas. We got our cause why not ticker underneath. All right, let's let's fucking roll, bro. Okay. Skills. Um you know, skills are on my mind because I'm thinking about what type of skills it is that I want to learn and to share on live stream with people mm. about the process of me learning it, right? That seems right. to be a very interesting way to have like given myself a little bit of a carrot on the stick, right? Because I'm like, here, if I can put myself out in the ether, boom, I'm like honing some skills of, mm -hmm. of talking, being on stage type of energy, you know, having yeah, yeah, intentional yeah. I mean, choice. Yeah. yeah, having an intentional choice about what I'm choosing to talk about, whether I'm gonna freestyle or we're gonna talk mm. about grief. Right, you could. There's like everywhere in between, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then like the fact that yo, I'm podcasting with Shane. Love you. Um, sounds pretty cool to say, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, so. Sorry, mom, I'm podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just thinking about like, uh, yeah, if I'm taking myself to school or if I'm imagine the things that I know that I could get better at, right? Like for me, a, a very visual one in my head is like, imagine like where I would be if I like spent 20 years learning how to like garden. Hmm. Sure. Right? Like, okay. There would be so much tangible knowledge, yeah, like, for real. technique, right? Understanding like mm. habits, like preferences, like all of this mm. stuff we build. Yeah, yeah. From this, you know this part of like how i've spent this time because of how many how many years i've had my dirt in the soil or like how many plants i'd killed how many right how many times yeah. i plucked a cucumber and my family shared it at a meal that like sure. yeah. you know and like you know the same could be said for fucking studying shit or fucking working drawing, out, drawing. oh my god right yeah. yeah uh podcasting bro dude mm. So like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll show up here. Like, I'll, I'll fucking hang a carrot over my head right now because I love me and I have my best intentions at heart, right? Like, sure, yeah. So it's like very simple in a way. Yeah, that dude, well, that's something I think about a lot is like motivation, meaning like that I can know what I want to do and I can, you know, like I can, I can know where I want to be or like, you know, like the things that I want to do or like, you know, skills I want to learn or whatever. But yeah. then when it comes to like, you know, say if it's like, I don't know, like uh, podcasting or like drawing or whatever it is, like it's, it's hard, you know, for drawing, it's hard to just like sit down with a piece of paper and like suck at drawing for a while. Yeah. Totally. And, and for, like, until you get better. And so, but it's like interesting that like, why does it, suck or why why don't i like those beginning stages of learning something if i know that like the goal is to get really good at it one day and i know yeah. that like i'll enjoy being really good at it 
And so it seems like my brain should be able to say like, well, this is just part of it. You know, like if you want to get good, then this, this is part of it and you shouldn't feel bad about this. But then like, but instead my brain goes like, oh, this sucks. I don't want to be doing this. Like I'm going to. Well, and immediately because I've listened to him so much, my brain goes to Gary V because mm. his shit would be like, if you aren't in, if you can't see yourself enjoying this process of being bad, but still mm -hmm. being able to work through that still mm -hmm. right being the lotus flower that's starting to bud but it's still deeply covered in mud at the, mm -hmm. right underneath the mud on the lake but it's like that doesn't mean it's going to give up or like um god damn it what are you saying oh. anyway uh like being worried about the skill not having grown as fast as someone else right like right yeah sure yeah feeling like well i'm not better yet hello i've been doing this for three years yeah sure right and well, like right and imagining like what what that metric can even look like for someone's own right like internal mm -hmm. voice be mm -hmm. like well i haven't even gotten many more viewers like come on i want yeah, right, out, of, right. out of like i want more people to hear my message not because i want all the viewers mm. like that's like that's i seem like that's an idea that's on like the collective mind it's like sure it's just like, uh, yeah like fame for the sake of fame right mm -hmm. you know like uh jersey shore versus like live streaming my lectures about mental health mm -hmm. both, yeah both of those kind of live in the same world but come from it in, in opposite ways right right sure but someone who's scrolling on their facebook could pop in and find a live video of either me because i'm streaming or some other shit that right like right like a reality show that's like live streaming an event like that could come to you in this exact same rectangle that you stare at. Like, and so it's like, you know, in the right, it's kind of feels like the shit's kind of out of our hands in terms of like social media. Like, right, we're never like, you know, it's, it's much different than like searching for things, right? Browsing the internet. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Right, browsing social like it just, media. It suggests like, what you want to yeah. see. It's pure yeah. suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I can like put better suggestions as possibilities by tailoring mm -hmm. my shit, right? Yeah, sure. I can get bogged down if I can submit to the status quo, which is funny to say, right? Like I remember a time when, who knows ago, six years ago, I had all of like these, I don't know, like meme accounts that I followed on Twitter yeah, sure. And that I had been following for years. Right. But they were just like cluttering up my shit. And like, I realized, like, oh, that has become like part of what I think Twitter is. Mm. Because I hadn't re followed this account since I was like 18. Right. But here I am looking at it when I'm 25 or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. oh, like, I could just eliminate this. Right. So it's, you know, it's like sure. the difference between like, well, I was the one who put it there, but like, I forgot I put it there. Versus, like, are my high school friends Trump supporters? Sure. Like, yeah. Like, eh, right. Okay. Yeah. So, you yeah. Know. I, get what you mean. Like, I mean, they're both a distraction, I guess. Oh. Bang. <sighs> oh, yeah, dude. I thought of this idea um, mm. <laughs> for my podcast to have like a per episode uh, my man who is it it's my friend jared answer it. Up, put him on. nah if he calls if it somehow gets through again then i will but i put it on do not disturb but i don't <laughs> know if that applies to my computer too so <laughs> get him on the pod bro <laughs> bro we're gonna have guests on this bitch it's gonna be good man yeah that would that would be cool to have i think i mean i think that would throw in some uh, right, like even right here like we could have it so that there would be another we have like three or four oh sure yeah so this like 
yeah, man, I'm excited to figure out how this shit works. It seems like holy shit, very easy. I'm mm -hmm. about to get. I'm about to buy a microphone, dude. I actually um, was looking at this one, and have you heard of Rode? Rode. R O D E. It's like a. Oh yeah, sure. Like the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, dude. All their shit is sold out in on every fucking thing ever. Really? I feel like yeah. it's like. And you know, honestly, I, I what I have to imagine is that, like, especially in the past few weeks or months, mm -hmm. some big influencer probably wrote an article about best podcast equipment. Probably, and, yeah. And included that mic, and then it probably yeah. blew up. Yeah. That right? Makes, Wouldn't that make sense, dude? Like, yeah. Well, and probably everybody's thinking that now is a good time to try starting a podcast or, you know, making a song or whatever they need a microphone for. Yo, yesterday, some of my Goodwill hauls, I got these two glass water bottles. Nice. With like these rubber covers for right, that's three, cool. three bucks each. What? Dude, yeah. these are each like at least $20 minimum. Those are nice too. I like, I mean, I, I appreciate they're, a large water bottle. Hell nice. And you know, again, I don't want to be the person who bitches about my shit. Like I, mm. I would prefer like a big, fat, tall, yeah. like, you know not two liters but like this yeah yeah but yeah. i do like having glass I, for some reason the heaviness of it glass just feels nice yeah it does for sure i get what you mean yeah yeah it's, i drink out of like a, just a tall glass there you go anyway um so what have you been thinking about in terms of skills hmm yeah, well, I don't know. I guess mostly just I mo more about like motivation. Like, I think it's just a really interesting word, a really interesting idea. Like, what, like, wh you know, where does it come from, and like, why, why am I motivated to do one thing but not another thing? Or like, you know, I can have a long term motivation for one thing, but a short term motivation to like eat a sandwich. You know. Yeah. Right. And all, it's all motivation, but it's like, it's very, and it's like, it flows in different ways. Like, in a lot, you know, just different times, I feel more motivated than other times. Or like, it's, it's hard, to, it's hard to, like, it's something that I want to feel. And it's something that, like, when you feel it heavily, then like, you know, you get stuff done. But, yeah. it's, but it's also, it's, it's hard to harness for some, for whatever reason. Like, it seems like I should just be able to say, like, oh, I'm going to do this thing and get it done. But then, like, I feel lazy. I feel whatever. What, yeah. What is it that you think that gets in the way? I don't know. Like you question. were just saying, I feel lazy or, but like, well, it's like, I feel you. Did you, I, you might have sent me that book, The War of Art. Yeah. Resistance, it's like the resistance, yeah. resistance. that, that book talked about. Heavy. It's, it's so like heavy. Being, that's like what it is. And it, yeah. But it's weird. Like, it's inexplicable, you know? I'd be interested in like learning where, where that happens in my brain. Well, well, I think like, you know, in a way that's like a metaphor, you know, mm -hmm. like, like, well, I mean, I, I know, I don't think like the resistance is like an actual force. Oh, right. Or, right. I think like the resistance comes from like the grooves that we wear over, mm -hmm. wear away over time. Exactly yeah, what sure. you were talking about last week. Right, mm -hmm. the the groove, the more like rocking back and forth to break loose from that thing that has always been so comfortable. Mm -hmm. right? The deeper that is, the more you have to like hit the edge a little bit. To yeah, get yourself out of that. Sure. Um, so, yeah, like I don't know, like figuring out for me where like trying to be able to like put my finger in the moment as much as I can on like the place that is making me my decisions, right? To just like mm. find it and like slow it down because just to like look at it, to be like, this is something that's happening. And usually it's happening, right? As like the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain as like mm. this all seeing voice of like, I am you, I am Wes, duh, listen to me, right? But like, that's true, but mm. it's also not true, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's like my ego talking, right? Yeah, right. That's, that, right. And so, what, 
talking. What it could be helpful for me to say, that's my resistance talking, right? Mm, that's my mm -hmm. ego that wants me to go be living at that studio apartment and getting takeout every night and smoking eight blunts before I go to bed. And yeah, exactly. Like, right. right. It's like too much of a good thing where it was like, yeah. Ooh, you can, right? Like, look at all the freedom. Aren't you going to go take advantage of that? Mm. And I was like, yes, you, that makes so much sense. Right. Because I was, I was like, the resistance is pulling me. Right. Mm -hmm. this, right. I would have to like, ugh, get back into it. Right. It's that yeah. same energy that I felt when I was, you know, two assignments behind in, mm. you know, business calm or like my education whatever right yeah, like, right and i'm like okay well like i have the third assignment due and like i had skipped class last time so if i go i'm gonna have to do all three of these assignments in like four hours it's like mm -hmm. you know i'm like well then i just i'll fuck it i right? like yeah I'm right. in like oh i was so close to breaking out of this habit but like i relapsed right mm -hmm. or or something like that to, for that to be like well, I guess I'll just get swept away again. Yeah, right, like, sure. like, like you were saying last time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's easy to fall into. Right, like I made a video and it was dope and then I felt bad and then I slept in and then I smoked and then I just didn't do anything and played video games. And then I just didn't even really register that I never left that rut for the next, the next six days. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude, because, yeah. Yeah, no, I get what you, like, yeah, that's a classic, uh, situation for me me too man yeah heavily well i don't have to be bound by the fact that that has often been the case mm -hmm. well yeah sure and i think it's also about like i mean realizing that you're not bound to it always being the case i think has to do with putting yourself in situations where you, you know you're you're able to hold yourself more accountable or like I mean, or just for example, like being in college, if that's causing, or like, you know, you could say like, because you're three classes behind or whatever, like, is it, if those, are, it's like, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's like deciding what your priorities are or like what you're going to be motivated to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it all, it also, it also goes back to what you were sort of saying about um, uh, Gary V and like liking the being bad at it part, mm -hmm. you know? It's sort of, it's like if you if you don't like the being bad at it part and really just like basically you don't like what you're doing and what you're trying to do or trying to accomplish, then that then it becomes a lot easier to fall into, you know, being lazy for six days and smoking eight blunts and whatever. Yeah. Um, because not only are you like, oh dang it, like I'm three assignments behind, but also like, I don't want to do the three assignments. Yeah, Oh, but there's a cool class. So like, I wanted to do these three assignments, then it's easy. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm, I'm now I'm kind of finally like, oh, like <laughs> I want to give myself assignments, right? Mm. I thought I hated assignments as like an idea of what assignments are. Mm -hmm. but like, right. what that, but I just always hated the other shit that I was assigned. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, in that place, I felt like I didn't have control, right? Like I was being swept away. Like I was choosing, <laughs> again, right. I was choosing A or B this whole time. And like, it yeah. was like boom, I gotta make it. You gotta move through. Yep. Right, like I have to stay up now because for fucking eight hours from like pulling all nighter just because I like didn't give a fuck about this and I don't give a fuck, but I have to right. turn something in and like the minimum requirement is five pages, so I gotta fucking uh, I like Yeah. And like, you know, in a way, part of that was a little bit thrilling. Yeah, like, sure. Like me and my homies would be like yo, we have this like communication, like speech to do tomorrow. Like, have you done yours? No, no. We're like, well, we want to pull an all nighter. And we're like, yeah. And it's like, right. 8, it's like 8 PM the night before. Right. So we're like, dope, we're pulling an all nighter. So now let's go smoke. Let's grab some beers. Let's play some video games. Since we already decided to pull an all nighter, right. let's procrastinate exactly. yeah. even longer. And we would end up like starting our shit at like 3 AM. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Because we didn't give a fuck. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because you didn't like what you were like. 
or you like, like the thing that you were telling yourself you were supposed to be motivated to do. Exactly. Yeah. Or like, even if I was interested in the topic of the assignment, mm -hmm. the fact that it was required and all of like the hoops that were attached to this idea that might have been interesting, but like I didn't want to do the reading. And yeah. I, like, all of those barriers that were requiring effort or mm. something that deterred me so much because I only wanted to spend my time the way that I wanted to. Right. And so, yeah, like, I think now I'm, again, talking about skills, I'm kind of shifting of, like, I am in charge of, like, figuring out what I want to do. If I, if I like, I could go. Right. Which like, seems like an obvious idea. And, like, until you I know, right? It. Yeah. Like I could go like to grad school and study fucking almost anything I wanted to, if I wanted to, mm, yeah. but like, you know, recognizing that I'm thinking about that and being like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not ready for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, I can't believe I tricked myself into thinking I was ever ready for, mm -hmm. you know, for jumping into an institution. Yeah. Um, again, dude, I so, I so often get on like the, harping on fucking college but yeah well same that's because i think it is like right to me it is on par with like uh like the american lawn hmm. what do you it's mean by like, that is like american college idealism right like right, okay right like the fucking Johnsons had like the greenest lawn ever. So now everyone oh. has a lawn and now lawns are like this fucking crazy thing that everyone has. And it's like the norm. And if you have like some rocks or you have prairie grass or, mm -hmm. right, or you do anything, you have a garden, mm -hmm. like it's like, oh, fucking hippie. Like, <laughs> right. Like, oh, lawns will look way better. Right. Like, that to me seems like the general vibe. Yeah. It's just, so, it's just a it's it, it's just an ideal. College is just an ideal. That, exactly right. It looks really nice. Wow, yeah. well, look, we get to go to like summer camp for like eighteen year olds for right, right? Yeah. which obviously there's a lot of good that goes down. Yeah, sure. Right? In these specific ways, but it had become so much of like a societal staple mm -hmm. that you know me being one of them, we were all kind of you know coerced into being like is your ticket to like right like e expressing to the external reality that you are an educated human being mm, mm -hmm. right, like, right like us being like hello like the man validate me so i can prove to you that i'm smart right yeah right <laughs> you know? like it's so fucking dumb yeah but yeah, also, well, like, also the I, education that goes on so Right. Mm -hmm. I just, my experience was like, I never clicked into something because I was there before I knew myself or knew right, or like what, any direction that I wanted. Right. So I'm only speaking from my experience again. Like I don't want yeah. to say college is fucking dumb. Well, yeah. I mean, but, yeah, I think if you know for sure what you want to do and that like the best way to get to do it is to go to college and you want to go to college then. Or if, even if you just want to go to college, I guess, sure. But like, just think about it first. Think about, like, do I want to go to college or yeah. do I just think everybody else wants me to go to college? So, or am, yeah, am I, okay, getting into fear, perhaps, or am mm -hmm. I afraid of having to face what, you know, my community members are going to say? Mm -hmm. like, sure. The questions yeah. they're going to ask me, well, if you're not going to college, then what are you doing? Yeah, right. like are you're you're are you gonna flush your life down the drain? That, <laughs> right, yeah. That could be something that people would have to yeah. respond to, even bringing up the idea of not going to college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, and it's I think I mean also a lot of the time probably, I mean, and some of the time people definitely get judged for not going to college, but like I think also, I think a lot, well, like for in my experience, like when I after last semester, you know, or like, I guess one semester ago now after fall, uh, when I was like telling everybody that I wasn't coming back, you know? Yeah. Uh, like I tell all my friends and stuff, like a lot of them, like a few of them were like, Oh, like, what are you going to do? Like that? Like seemed like kind of like they were expressing concern for me, but most of them, the majority were like, dude, that's so cool. Like, I wish I could do that. Or like, I wish I had like the guts to, to do that is what a significant number of my friends said at college. 
That's baller, dude. Yeah, and so I think, I think like it's at least among young people is not really so much a stigma around it. At least like I don't know. I mean, right. maybe so, different certain parts of the country. Like it probably depends. Well, and what I heard is like, it's like what I was talking about earlier, which is like maybe someone could hear what I'm talking about and like vibe with it, right? Right, sure. Your friends are watching you do that and saying, I kind of wish I could do that. Mm. They fucking can. Yeah. But like, if, yeah, well, exactly. If you, if you it. keep yeah. it in this box of like maybe someday or like, I don't want to deal with my parents or like, it's mm. not that bad or like, I like my major, right? Mm. There are in, innumerable ways to convince yourself like, uh, I shouldn't do what Shane was doing, even though like I envy him, right? I envy mm -hmm. his freedom, right? So yeah, yeah. you know what, right? I'm like, okay, Shane, it's our fucking job to talk about our freedom and to talk about the fears we had to face to be able to get here and to talk about how much more we have to go, what we hope to get better at. Definitely. And what's the third pillar? Fucking talk to each other about the whole thing along the way, dude. Conversation. Dude. Yeah. Right, right. We can like choose what pillars we want: skills, fear, and conversation. That's like deeper than I fear and conversation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Fear. Fear. Oh, you know, it's interesting. Like, you know, clicking on the fear title right it's like this very funny simple visualization of like what what what, what do we have to be afraid of here mm -hmm. the world that we are in charge of creating mm -hmm. and write whatever the fuck we want we can talk about whatever the fuck we want mm -hmm. we can create art in any way that suits our taste or that we want to experiment with right right i can talk about fucking the sunstone and the energies that it supposedly has and then mm -hmm. i can think about that energy and who the fuck cares about the reality of that yeah sure i can, I can bring positivity wherever the fuck i go so why not because why not there you go well because of fear because they're gonna judge me well because my video isn't really for instagram it's a youtube only mm. right right well that's 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 what you, that's what you tell yourself because why not like mm -hmm. then there's the rest of that conversation goes like that's where fear comes that's where fear comes into play what, that, then, what does that conversation look like for you mm, well that's a good question i guess like like well the things that i'm would be afraid about are all things that are like like potential futures you know yeah right okay like, so. well like people you know making fun of me or whatever like saying like oh you know okay what a silly what, what a silly what? thing to put on your instagram feed right okay so you, let's say you get 10 of those messages sure what, what does that change yeah well that's right. Um, is the eleventh message going to be the one that's like too much, and you're like, right, oh, no, it's like, you're oh, right. like, you're I mean, right. like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I that's I I really don't know what like how I would react. I guess I like to think that I wouldn't care, you know, but yeah. I I would, I would mm -hmm. probably I would probably like care. At the, honestly, I think I would care a lot more if I got one than if I got like ten. Because if I got ten, then I would just be like. That's strange. Okay, yeah, I guess, right, I guess yeah. that one wasn't yeah. very good. But if I got like one, then I would be like, uh, like why? I don't know. Like why did is this person well, just the only one that was gonna speak up and like everybody didn't like it or like, like why? Well, why didn't connect with this person? Like what about you know? You know. Also, what is what is it surrounded by? Is it mm -hmm. one comment of one comment, the only one on the video? Right. Sure. Yeah. Ten shitty comments out of three thousand. Well, I mean, that's a whole other world. Right. But how does it change, right? Like, does is there less weight to a particular mm -hmm. negative comment for me because it's surrounded by a bunch of positivity or mm -hmm. because it's surrounded by other negative comments, right? The words are the same. 
but my experience of them is changed mm. by the reality that I perceive them to live in. Those words. Right, 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 right. Weird, right? Well, that's like all the different potential futures that you can be afraid of. Yeah, so like that that doesn't exist. That right. Is... None of them exist until like you at least until you post the video. You like know? what are people gonna say? Right? Like, I feel fear flowing through me a little bit when I rollerblade around the neighborhood. Hmm. Really? Because of like what what are people gonna think? I'm that I'm that guy rollerblading. <laughs> but, right, what That's funny. Right, obviously it's like it's so it's very minimal. But like right. I have that recognition of like Well I also just can't I, imagine anybody well, like looking at somebody rollerblading and going, Oh, there's that guy rollerblading. Or or like what if I, or if I okay. fell down or embarrassed oh, okay, yeah. or something, right? Even that. Mm -hmm. Or like I'm too outside of the norm, right? Because I remember a time when that was something that affected me greatly. Mm. Was sure, yeah. like scanning my environment to look for like I hope they're not gonna judge me. Are they gonna judge me? Mm. And like, you know, it's not like that. That's a pretty that deep habit. That's a deep word. of fear yeah. exists, can exist, and can be something that comes up when I attempt a lot of different things. And like, mm. right, whether knowingly or not, I've been practicing putting myself through those type of situations so that I can continue to learn and show myself evidence and build confidence to like keep moving forward and be like, yeah, dope. Like I posted a TikTok yesterday or like two days ago and I didn't even go in and check randomly because I hadn't posted in a while. I had gotten in a rut. I want to be mm -hmm. posting shit because I can like chop up my shit. Like it's so mm -hmm. easy if I just actually do it. Right. And I looked up and there was like uh, one dude who said, yo, this is so incredibly dope or some shit and right, then this sure. was like yo does this guy remind anyone of the guy from cloudy with a chance of meatballs <laughs> and i was just like holy shit like those two people took the time to comment on my shit yeah it's and insane how much that'll and i'm like bro motivate you. exactly it really yeah. does and it's like okay right like i want to figure out what does motivate me right that gives me so much joy that gives me energy i want to hop up and be like oh live stream every day if you can tune in whatever the fuck i'll post more tiktoks or whatever right 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 like, because, and again, like, I've found value from other people doing this type of shit, mm -hmm. right? There are messages that me tuning into have really helped me. Right, yeah. You know, and I think what's at the heart of, like, the shit that resonates with me is, like, not putting up a front and not having, like, you know, ulterior motives, right? I don't ever see myself trying to be like, yo, guys, sign up for my course, Right, sure, yeah. To figure out your life. But yeah. also, right, again, it can be the framing of like, or I could help you with your life. Sign up for my course. Mm -hmm. I only have so much time. I want to help you. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, you know what I mean? But that's like, if it's because I want to help you, or it's because like I want to make a business out of my passion because I need to right. be like, it can just come from different places. And I think I'm like more recognizing. Also, I just got my tax returns. Uh, there you go. Fucking boss, boy. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I get what you're saying. I think, like, I don't know. I think maybe I, like, value money, like, to, like uncomfortably little for, like, you know, for, like, my parents' sake, for example. Cool. I mean, not to say, like, that I spend money all the time. Like, I pretty much save whatever money I get, but I just, like, I don't think about it. Like, it's and it's because I don't tend to spend very much money. Like, I'll buy, like, you know, in and out burger and like a video game every, every once in a while. And that's like basically it. Yeah. And like, you know, to me, money is just sort of like, as long as the number that I, when I look at my phone, I check my bank account app, as long as it's like, Oh, I have more money that I could spend if I chose to do so. Like then, then it's like that, that number can be pretty dang low and I, I'm not going to be concerned. Yeah. You know? Cause like, I don't really care about, even like living in a super nice house or like driving a nice car or like, like as long as I'm as, you know, like, and it's about like, like you said about helping people. Like, I feel like as long as I'm using my time well, then like I'll be happy and like, I'll just be comfortable in that sense. And I won't, I just, I don't think, 
I don't foresee ever really like like caring about getting more money, you know? As, yeah. as long as, I mean, if I'm like homeless and like on the street, then maybe it would come up. But like, as long as, you know, there's like a pretty, like I feel like I have a pretty low maintenance that like I can maintain with a not huge check coming in all the time. Well, yeah, man. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like everybody has that really, I mean, not to go on, but like, I mean, I feel like, I feel like it's kind of over stated a lot like uh i mean you know if, if everybody were just cool with the idea of like living in a van for example you know i mean like that really isn't that bad or like that difficult to yeah. do I mean, like you yeah. know to eat at restaurants wherever and like you know sleep in the like a van's perfectly comfortable if you have a nice mattress in there and everything like it's gonna be fine like you know as long as you have a shelter um and then but then but everybody like so many people define success as like you know if you're a millionaire you're a success like no 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 question if 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 people hear that oh this person's a millionaire they're a success they're a successful person like without any further investigation into what other aspects of their life might be going on uh -huh. yeah. you know like even if they're happy that's like not even a question it would just like i feel like a lot of people would say oh yeah millionaire successful definitely yeah and even oh, if sure. even if they're like completely depressed like that could be the case also but they're still successful you know? Yeah, because like our like basis for like judgment and like stacking up our, you know, place versus everything else that we can see, like achievement mm -hmm. being this thing that means like like rise up. Right, like past people. Right, right. right Zigzag sure. your way to the top of yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever it might happen to be. Yeah. Instead of like, like there's your... only a few people that are successful. Not everybody can be successful, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, but like what you said, like figuring out, okay, how do I, how do I judge what at the end of the day I will perceive as having been a good productive like positive day like mm. feeling a sense of accomplishment because feeling a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction right is something that's like bro like that really gives me like a hit of like whatever it is dopamine right mm -hmm. energy that just makes me feel like yeah like today is dope and like yeah I remember so many days of my life where i didn't do anything mm -hmm. to that happen to give myself that feeling yeah definitely i mean it can be it can be a small thing it can just be like going for a walk or like doing some exercise that literally you told yourself you wanted to do you know or like out of reading a book like anything or reading one page of a book like yeah yeah that can be like well you know i read today so there you go i like there was there was some value in in the day i read yeah i mean i read more than not reading at all Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like interesting, like thinking about am I afraid of what people will say or am I afraid of people not liking me? Hmm. Those are different, you know? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Because what people will say is like putting, right, there has to be an incredible intention behind that. Like if someone's going to type something out or say something to my face so that I can mm. hear right, their right, right. on me, then there's like some energy behind that versus right. like my ideas about, I hope they like me. Mm -hmm. Do I? would that be something that i valued if i had a meter to see if all the people who saw whatever i wanted people to see whether or not they in their heart liked me because mm -hmm. of that right it's weird mm -hmm. or like uh, but i like feel like i don't really care about either of those but also i, like, I want to be like kind and loving right sure you know, I wanna, I, you know what i mean 
Yeah, well, I, I think I care about it in the sense that I want to, like, leave a positive impact on people's lives. And so yeah. I think a pretty good measurement of that is whether or not they like me or they like the things that I'm putting in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's different than, like, I mean, you know, obviously it's one thing if somebody is just, like, being mean just because they don't, like, they just because they don't like you. Or, like, they, if, they, like, if somebody decides, like, that they don't like you, then there's nothing you can do about it. So, like, it's, it's more of, like, I would worry, I worry about preventing people not liking me more than the people that actually, like, you know, if there were somebody that said that they didn't like me, I'd be like, okay. Sorry. You were, what was that? Preventing people from not liking you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. That sounds weird. That's, that sounds like there's some, like, in my, like, some just rage in my heart that I'm, just, like, preventing myself from spewing so that everybody doesn't like me. But it's, it's more just, like, I'm, I'm, I worry about the idea of uh, right. somebody yeah. seeing something that I did or whatever, like, meeting me or, and then, and then going, oh, I don't like this person. It's not, but, like, yeah, I, I, it's, I worry just about that potential future, but then if that future actually came and they didn't like me, then I'd, I'd be like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Right. I can't yeah. help you with that. Yeah, exactly, dude. Like, it's funny because it's like it holds weight mm -hmm. now before it exists, but mm -hmm. I can already tell that it's like if that happened, I feel like it would lose its weight. Yeah, but, but that doesn't stop it from having weight for the time but, being. But, like, we can try and help that. And yeah, that's, sure. it's like, that's what I'm learning, right? Is like, I can let some of this go. I can say, okay, I don't have to worry about that. I, mm. don't, I no longer have to walk through the halls worried that the upperclassmen are going to call me a loser for wearing mm. my thumbs behind my backpack straps. Sure, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that literally happened to me. And I, it's, it's the most fitting metaphor <laughs> for like mm -hmm. the silliness of our ideas of what other people are gonna be concerned about, about mm. us. Yeah, yeah. No other motherfucking high school kid was thinking about my shit. No, about your thoughts. I wasn't, your, I wasn't thinking uh, about them. Uh, yeah. I was just worried that I would catch someone looking at me and then boom, all of a sudden I, on my own, would create a narrative right. of what were they thinking? That was a dirty look. Oh my God, I'm such yeah. a loser. My yeah, sure. like my jeans are horrible. I'm I look ugly. I like mm -hmm. I had I had a real problem finding good jeans. Mm -hmm. So I was I was always super self conscious about that. Right, like seventh eighth grade were like huge. Like my jeans are horrible. Like my mom doesn't take me to the mall. My mom only takes me to Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Right, like so freaking dumb, and no one cared. Yeah. But it's like that. Like I walked around with those thoughts ruminating, and I was holding on to them mm -hmm. because I thought. I need to think about this because I need to fix this because otherwise it will lead to pain. Otherwise I'll mm. get made fun of. Otherwise, right? Right, right. Where it's like, I didn't need to hold on to it. And that idea of what the consequences of this would be wasn't true. Like all of it was just of my own making because- For sure. I, oh, that's really interesting. And it's like- Yeah, um, it, yeah that it's all, all in your own head, like all thoughts that you're- having about yourself you know and yeah uh, it yeah it's like it's and that's another thing that just seems obvious like when you say it like it seems like well duh obviously like my thoughts <laughs> are in my head but, like, <laughs> but it doesn't feel like it when you're thinking something like that people are judging you it feels like you're thinking that because they are judging you you know it feels like something yeah. that's happening out there but it's yeah. you're only thinking about them judging you right no. Hmm. I think like not having a way to figure out what you are reacting to when you are like changing your behavior based on fear because, right? pretty fucking rare for someone to have like a real practice of like journaling their thoughts out mm, for right? sure. Talk, talking yourself through your stress or your anger or your yeah. frustration or right or your your uh something 
traumatic events or whatever it might mm -hmm. have to be like and you know god it's crazy right like conversation being the thing that's like like in intentional like with the uh you know intention of being personal growth is like that's like it feels very american to be like well that's what you do with your therapist sure yeah yeah you know and it you know this is kind of it, a it's like it's, a, it's supposed to be like a private thing that you keep to yourself also right like it's not something that you just discuss. they're not, they're not going to expose my secrets that i may or may not be ashamed of mm -hmm. right like they are a doctor right mm. i might i might a lot of people are only going to them because i've reached a point where you know something you know i've I've over right. myself in whatever way that now I need to seek medical attention and you are, you, know, you are certified to talk mm -hmm. about these things, which obviously is necessary. Mm -hmm. But I think especially, right, the amount of time that, you know, things can accumulate and just like- Definitely, yeah. Boil up because- Things do never, accumulate, like it's, and you don't, like things you don't even notice, you yeah. know, like, that's definitely a real phenomenon that like small things build up over time and you're just kind of like, you don't even know like why, you know, you feel bad or whatever, but it's just because it's not, you can't locate one particular thing, which is like what people want to do. They want to find the problem and say, okay, how do I fix that? You know? Yeah. But so, but that's why it helps to just talk about all the small problems rather than like, because letting them accumulate is just what happens when you don't talk about what you know how you're feeling or you don't at least acknowledge it to yourself at least you know and then say okay like it, how do i deal with this small problem rather than letting it get into something big yeah i i think it's for me it's helpful to think about like you know sometimes it kind of sucks to like do your dishes every single night mm -hmm. right but right it's really in the long run a lot shittier if you never do your dishes and, the and then you have to do it like all at once. Gross. And yeah. then like, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's this huge epic thing that's gonna right. take you all day to accomplish. Like, and it's disgusting yeah. and there's mold, right? Like mm. there's so much shit growing in there because you hadn't looked underneath there for weeks because right. you didn't deal with it, right? It's like exactly back to the fucking like missing assignments. Yeah, true. You know? Like, right, once once I have a two pots soaking and I've filled the rest of the sink in with some silverware and all that stuff, well, mm -hmm. then, it's like, oh, then I have to, I'm gonna have to like roll up my fucking sleeves to attack this problem. I'll do it tomorrow. Right. I'll do it this weekend when mm -hmm. I have time. While then I go walk up to my room and turn on Netflix, right? So it's like, I yeah. have the fucking time. <laughs> like, yeah. If, but I haven't made it a priority. Mm -hmm. right? So that's okay if I don't wanna make it a priority, but if I'm not gonna make it a priority, then I cannot be mad about dirty dishes. Right, yeah, for sure. I have to choose. Yeah, yeah, well it is, yeah, that's just, I, that's sort of another, that's like a reverse angle of like, n like needing to foresee what it's gonna be like to, for it to suck, you know, or like, it's like learning a skill, needing to be yeah. able to foresee what it's gonna be like to be bad at that skill at first and learn it and yeah. you know, for it to be difficult that's almost like you need to be able to foresee that there's going to be a big pile of dishes. And like, if you're cool with that, if you're cool with doing a big pile of dishes, then all right, you don't have to do your yeah. dishes every night, but otherwise right. you probably could if you, if you don't, if you think that's going to suck. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, thinking about like different ways for me in particular, but potentially us, to leverage like you know uh our our podcast right and i was thinking about like you know i am trying to start meditate so it's like yeah let's fucking talk about that maybe mm -hmm. you could fucking try that right just be like yeah. no we can fucking test ourselves in these different ways mm -hmm. let's report back right let's see what works right i want to do some shit that i would never do right mm -hmm. you'll fucking tell me, yeah, you know, me, bro. You'll tell me to try some shit and i'll be like <laughs> Fuck, okay, I gotta do it for this for the podcast, right? Sure, I wanna, yeah, I wanna sure. be authentic. I wanna be like, yo, I did 30 days of that shit. Fuck you, that sucked. 
<laughs> yeah. But like, I yeah. want to be able to go through that. That it, yeah. will, it will help me grow. It will help me build character. Right. It will help me figure out myself a little bit more. And then also, yeah, yeah. Boom. Dude, why not? I was about to say, why not? Because why not? <laughs> Dude, already this podcast, like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> like we're building a framework, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, like, even already, like, visually, right? We have this double, double thing with the shit there under you go, the yeah. rolling. It says live in the corner, powered by StreamYard. Bang, mm. bang. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, interesting. For the first time ever, I meditated with my mom this morning for five minutes. Oh, yeah? That's yeah. Yeah, I, uh, so Duncan Trussell from uh, Midnight Gospel, mm -hmm. he interviewed this Buddhist teacher, Sharon Salzberg, and they've had great conversations on his podcast. So I've been listening to her podcast just like the past two days, which is kind of just her lectures from like meditation retreats. Mm. Um, but God damn, it's just like, I feel like I'm really able to like connect dots from different things, right? Like mm. weird ideas where it sounds like she's talking about meditation. I'm like applying to like other parts of my life. Right? Just sure. like I saw that with tarot, like mm. let me extract lessons, right? I don't want to be like, let me look for coincidences everywhere I go. But like, hey, right. well, I, sure, I yeah. notice what I notice. Yeah. Like, if I'm noticing shit, well, then let me work with that. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? Like, why not? Yeah, why not? Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, and I think like, yeah, I mean, you, you if you notice, like, what what you notice is real, you know? Like, not only, like, even if even if like you notice a coincidence and it's like just a coincidence, the fact that you notice yeah. it means something. Yeah. You know, I think for sure. And so, and then yeah. like whatever, yeah. like, and then whatever way you want to interpret that coincidence or anything like, like that's also a real interpretation that can inform actual decisions in your life. Even if it's based on just a coincidence. Yeah. You know, you can choose not, not to interpret it either. You can choose yeah, to exactly. Sure. It. Dude, literally that's so funny. That is a lesson of meditation. Mm. You, you see a thought come into your brain, you can recognize it, but just don't hold on to it. Let it go. Yeah, sure. Like you, you are in control, right? I don't have to be yeah. like, oh God, I keep thinking. Okay, <laughs> well, now, now you've noticed, right? right? You keep thinking until you were noticing, and then you were thinking about noticing, and then once you're there, then you can let it go. Right, right, right. right. It's so wild that it's so simple, but it's yeah. hard. It's hard to act that out in you know in practice yeah for sure well and it's it's about being motivated and like but well, in, in, it's about being motivated in that it just takes practice and you have to yeah you have to get through the part of it sucking you know yeah. and be okay with it sucking and to get good at it just skill Here we are back so, again dude back again yeah dude yeah uh, i was also thinking like book club like there's some books i want to read let's do it sure sure right you know what i mean that's a good idea. You know, and like, gosh, I want to read books about shit that's interesting to me. And then we have shit to talk about, about more interesting shit. Like, it's just. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Um, uh, dude, really funny. I felt like I was blowing you up when your phone died. I was like, oh, oh I, just hit me back. Uh, I have a phone for three uh, days. Yeah. And I called you and I was like, oh, I played like a. Your message is like, if you've never left a voicemail, I'll walk you through it. Oh, yeah. And I was like, uh, hello? Uh, hello? Is this thing on? Oh, I, I, I was I wondering, need, dude. I, I need to leave a message on. for Shane, please. <laughs> S-H-A-N-E. I think that's how you spell Shane. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was funny. That was funny. I was like, I didn't know what it, I didn't know what, it, what had happened. I thought you just actually were like, like oh, you're talking yeah. about the elf or something, because I couldn't really like hear. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. That is funny. Nice. <laughs> cool. We hit him. We hit them all, man. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Fear, skill, conversation. That's a tight hour right there. Yeah, I feel like that's a good length. You know, I feel like they can vary a lot, like for sure, man. Whatever the length is, it is. Doing what comes naturally. 
it's part of part of conversation oh dude uh the prince song which prince song what oh yeah. agony what are we about to do i mean about to give, that's a great question like how is this about to work we need to like find an accompaniment we can probably find it on like youtube i'm sure there's one on youtube yeah and like i guess probably we could each well because i'm guessing it'll be listen. like a Zoom or something with well I, I don't think it should be live oh okay right like i think we should each just listen to the recording like sing with our headphones in into mm -hmm. it and so then we could actually i don't know should it i be mean I, would, yeah, I was well i mean we could do that or i was i was just picturing it like amp is in the the zoom call and so are we both because i'm like i'm gonna be like agony, agony. yeah that's true not even the right song but well that is that's the right song yeah but i said all alone in the moon oh yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i mean so are you chill to do rapunzel's part yeah that's fine cool sounds good i mean i guess i probably don't remember either one so whatever no i'm, I'm good with rapunzel's prince i feel like that's a good deal all right so that's like i guess it's in like a week is it oh yeah it's gonna be on amp's birthday i think it's the 30th okay sure so cool i guess i mean sounds good we'll figure it out yeah yeah i'm not not concerned cool man well dude happy that let's do this all the fucking time dude this is so yeah fun. it's fun cool yeah and then uh hopefully i feel like this this platform is gonna work out so we'll see but for sure all right man good pod hopefully yeah, the audio good. quality will be good yeah hopefully we'll see I'll right. let you know all right for sure see you later all right keep your phone safe brother oh yeah <laughs> all right, all right. later